Hey friends, today we were hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and we were celebrating Fall Dapper Day 2021. I'm so excited, I got all dressed up in my best and we're gonna ride some rides and see if we can find anybody else that's all dressed up in their dapper best and just have a wonderful day at the Magic Kingdom. Anywho's, let's go do this. I guess a great way to start Dapper Day is with a little bit of the Dapper Dance. So many times in the past years, I used to just randomly be on vacation down here during Dapper Day and I would see all these people dressed up and I'd be like, what's going on? And then I learned about Dapper Day and ever since then, I've tried to at least come and catch uh, like at least one. There's many of them that they actually do throughout the year. I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can actually find out all the times that they schedule it and when it actually happens. Yesterday it was at Epcot, today it's at Magic Kingdom and I like Magic Kingdom the best. It's actually raining out at the moment, so it looks like we're going to get the rainy day parade or the rainy day cavalcade, and I'm so excited because I never get to see it. Okay, there is a bee on my head. There was a bee on my head! Look at that! I'm her stud muffin. I'm his cupcake. I love it. That's awesome, guys. I didn't plan on actually being here because tonight I'm actually going to be volunteering at Give Kids the World for a night of a million lights. So I just kind of put a nice little dapper outfit together and uh, decided to come out and enjoy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and just to have fun. I mean, it's always amazing to come to Dapper Day and I feel like there's no way I could have been like, I missed this one this year. As the rain actually starts to go away and the sun peeks out again, it looks like we can see a lot of people dressed up in their Dapper best coming on over in front of the castle to get some photos. And I ran into a nice bunch of Dapper people here. You guys enjoying the day? Yeah? Look at this, isn't it beautiful? Everyone is so wellly, like dressed up. You guys all look fabulous, thank you so much. Happy Dapper Day. Happy Dapper Day. Nice. <laughs> that is one good looking group of Dapper people right there. Here are some of their Instagram handles and there's a lot more because there was tons of people in here. So if you were in that video, uh, please put your uh, Instagram handle in the comments below and I'll try to pin them all, but every one of you guys looked amazing. I'm not too sure if this is a part of Dapper Day, but there seems to be a lot of cheerleaders here today as well. And they're actually cheering. I ran into some more friends here. Danny702? Yeah. You guys look dapper as ever. Very fancy. I always wanted to wear suspenders because I wanted to like pull on them. You know what I mean? But I've never, I, you know, I think I need to get a pair. One day I'm going to get a pair of suspenders. That's the way. It's really comfortable because you don't have all that constraint. Yeah. I can see why people Oh, I love it. Well, happy Dapper Day. Happy Dapper Day. You're looking mighty dapper, but you look dapper every day, I would say. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> now we're going to move on over to Tomorrowland. We're going to see if we see any other dapper people around, but I want to ride like maybe the People Mover or Dumbo, because I love I love riding Dumbo on Dapper Day. Uh, dapper Day Dumbo, do you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, just kind of enjoy a little bit before we head over to Give Kids the World Village, which I do plan on actually bringing you with me. And I don't know if I can video much because I'm going to be volunteering, but uh, yeah, it'd be nice to actually bring you along. It does look like it's an incredibly busy day here though at the Magic Kingdom. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin has a 55 minute standby wait. And look at that queue. It's all outdoors. And don't forget, it was just raining not too long ago. Shockingly though, it doesn't look like there's a lot of people waiting to ride the people mover. So I think we're gonna start there. One of these days, I wanna be able to ride with the orange cone. It would be such an honor. I'm a little sad that I didn't bring a mask to match my dapper outfit, but at least my mask matches my magic band, kind of. And it's the holiday season anyway. And here we go. The People Mover is the perfect ride for people watching, especially on Dapper Day. People watching, so keep your eyes peeled. You never know what you might see. My 
favorite thing about the people mover is just being able to sit back and relax and it's a nice breezy cool off ride and it's actually really good to ride during the rain because then you get to be outside during the rain and not be able to get wet Looks like the Thanksgiving crowds are definitely here. Right now it says Space Mountain is a 55 minute wait, but it doesn't look like a 55 minute wait. That actually looks like a hour and 30 minute wait, I would say. Especially if Buzz Lightyear is a 55 minute wait. Just trying to keep my eye out for any dapper people as we go around. Oh yeah, there's some dapper people right there. A couple more over there as well. I just realized I have not been able to watch the fireworks and the people mover yet. I wonder if Disney's enchantment is very good from up on the people mover. I used to watch Happily Ever After and Wishes all the time and I loved it, but I haven't done enchantment yet. Now it's time we make our way over to Fantasyland and I want to see what the wait times for either the teacups or Dumbo is. I do love riding Dumbo though. After we ride Dumbo, I think we're going to need to get a coffee. So I'm thinking either Joffrey's or Starbucks. I don't know which one I want to go with. I do like kind of hanging out on Main Street, so I might actually head down to Starbucks. But uh, I could go for a pumpkin game changer if they still have it. I don't even know if they still have it. It's just about starting to get dark outside. And I love riding Dumbo when it's a little bit dark on because all the lights turn on and the water's like super blue. Pick a Dumbo, any Dumbo. I don't know which one I want. Do I want a blue Dumbo, a red Dumbo, a purple Dumbo? I think I want an orange Dumbo. I spotted it and I need it. This is the one. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> we gotta go up. We gotta go up. <laughs> love it. Dumbo just puts me in such a happy mood. I can't get enough of it. Oh, look, we're gonna see the Barnstormer coming right out right there. Oh, and then we got the castle right over here. Amazing. Starting to head down, here we go. Whoop, take her down, Dumbo, come on. <laughs> look at little storks on top there, dropping off Dumbos to everybody. Oh, looks like we're coming down. Dumbo can make everything right. Honestly, if you're just feeling a little bit down because of running around the park, go ride Dumbo. Honestly, there's no way you can hold back a smile on that ride. I mean, I can't. I really, <laughs> I can't at all. And sometimes all I do is picture Darth Vader actually riding Dumbo, and it cracks me up. Now I want to make my way back up and through the castle, down Main Street, and to get a coffee and stare at some of the pretty lights. And take a look at this. I ran into another dapper person and it's Belle. And doesn't she look amazing? This is a great day. Enchanted Tales with Belle. And you're, you're like, you're, you're perfect. Yes. Honestly, perfect. Thank you so much. Happy Dapper Day. Yes, you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> that Belle is borderline almost the perfect Belle. Like, honestly, that is so amazing. Kudos to her because, I, honestly, I walked by and I was just like, wait, is Belle, like, out and doing a meet and greet? But it wasn't. It was, I mean, but it was. I don't know. It's crazy. Unbelievable, though. Now we're going to make our way through the castle. And like I said, maybe we'll take a little detour into the Main Street Bakery to see if we can get a coffee. I feel like it's definitely gotten a lot busier since we've been out here. We've only been around the park for about maybe two hours now, but now it's getting to the point where people want to come down here and get those golden hour photos because it's like the perfect lighting right now. It's very beautiful out. A couple more amazing dapper people and take a look at these outfits. Isn't this amazing? You guys really went all out. Congratulations. You look wonderful and happy dapper day. Happy dapper day. Seriously, if you just stand here by the castle, you'll see so many well-dressed people, and I love it. It is really awesome. <laughs> oh, they're just walking by too. <laughs> 
it looks like the 50th anniversary cavalcade is starting to make its way down Main Street USA right now. So I don't know if it's going to be super busy inside Starbucks, but we'll take a peek, see, you know? But look how busy it is here, right? I mean, we're following the parade right now, so it's definitely something else. You would think like it's the whole parade coming down. Well, that's not looking too promising at the moment. Maybe we'll have to actually stop at Starbucks outside the park. We have to get heading on over to Give Kids the World now. And plus, I want to stop and see Gracie before we actually head out. Sorry we couldn't spend more time here at the Magic Kingdom, but like I said, you know, we have a lot of important things to do tonight. And I'm gonna bring you along with me, like, as much as I can. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't know what I can, like, film, but it'll be nice to see what it's like to volunteer at Get Kids the World Village. And you could do it for a night of a million lights, or you could do it just regularly. You could sign up to volunteer. And I'm gonna go over the process and just show you what it's like, but I'm excited. On the way out, we ran into some more dapper people. So happy Dapper Day. You guys look fantastic. The dresses are amazing. Oh, happy I love it. Day. Yeah, happy Dapper. And that's the 25th anniversary castle, right? Yes. Nice. That is so crazy. Well, thank you guys. Enjoy. Have fun. Bye. The next group of people I'm going to show you as we make our way out may not be dressed in their dapper best, but I think they are some of the best dressed people in the park tonight. Looks like they're getting ready for the very merriest after hours and they are definitely dressed amazing. I love it. I'm parked over at the Grand Floridian because I stopped there to actually do photos first. So we're going to grab one of the resort launches and actually head over there. And then we're going to go home, see Gracie, get a coffee and then head to give kids the world. And hopefully we'll do all that in under like 40 minutes. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Well, it actually looks like the boat is still over at the Grand Floridian. So I wonder if it's going to be faster if we walk. Maybe we can race the boat. We're going to see if this works. I don't know. It might be a fail, but we're going to find out. I usually walk all the time whenever I do uh, head to the Grand Floridian because it's actually a very nice walk. But I'm looking at the fastest way because, like I said, we're kind of in a hurry here. So we'll see actually which way is better. Oh, I might have jinxed myself. It looks like the boat is actually starting to leave the Grand Floridian right now. <laughs> and we've got a pretty good, decent uh, walk ahead of us. We still might be there faster because it's still got to come all the way over here. And then it's got to dock and then load and then back on over there. So we'll see. But isn't this beautiful? I love walking through here. I'm in a hurry to get things done. Oh, I rush and rush and it'll last no fun. Still no boat over there. So we're definitely a little bit ahead of time here. Unfortunately, I don't think I would be able to beat the monorail though. <laughs> that would be a little bit quicker. Time for some coffee. I got this coffee mug at CVS because it was like 75% off for all the false decor stuff. And I think I paid a dollar for it. And it's got one of those silicone lids on it so I could take it to go. But uh, yeah, now we gotta walk Gracie real quick. The most beautiful girl on earth. There we go. Gracie went on her walk. I've got my coffee. I had to do a quick outfit change because I wasn't going to volunteer in my dapper outfit. Even though that would be pretty funny, but I think they actually give you a t-shirt here. So I just figured I'd come like this in case I had to switch clothes. And uh, it's time to check in. Here's the volunteer check-in spot. And we're going to figure out what we have to do from here. There we go. We're all checked in and ready to volunteer. I am so excited to show you guys where I'm gonna be working tonight. Like it's like something I've always wanted to do and it's just like fun to me. So like it's gonna be doing something fun for a great cause. It's the best thing in the world. I ran into a friend here already and she brought a cupcake for Gracie. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> all right, happy holidays. So far, we've ran into so many people and families that are actually here tonight, and it makes me so happy. That little girl who brought Gracie a pup cake, that is amazing. Honestly, I almost wanted to tear up, but it's time my shift actually starts. 
actually volunteering for here is really easy uh, I did like an hour onboarding video like uh, orientation and I filled out a little paperwork and within like two hours I was completely just ready to go and now I can just pick and choose wherever I want to work whatever shift I want whatever time basically you could do whatever you want as long as it's available and I picked the spot that I want to do tonight because it's something I've always wanted to do I would have loved to actually volunteer to be Santa Claus. I don't think I got the right credentials for that just yet, but that would be amazing to do. Still, the thing that I actually am doing is still kind of fun and something I've always wanted to do when I was a kid, you know? Looks like the lights are starting to do their dance. It's my favorite thing this year. It's so beautiful. I love all the Christmas music. Look at this. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. Wow. Isn't this so beautiful? Now we gotta go report for duty. It's time, our shift is actually starting. And tonight, we are gonna be working the midway. I've always wanted to do this, and we're gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna actually be working this. I'm gonna be up there. I'm so excited. There we go, now we're ready to go. <laughs> oh, first race. Number four! Woo! This is so much fun. Let me show you how everything actually works because I've always been curious about this. Here is all of our prizes and uh, what is really fun and neat about this is everybody wins. All the kids get a prize, but if you actually win the race, you get to choose your prize from the top row right here. But even if everyone plays and they don't win, we still give out little stuffed animals to everyone. So that's what I love. We're gonna give everybody something. Once they get ready, you gotta come and actually start up the gun. So you hit these little buttons below. Two, three, and number six, excellent. Once you get everybody turned on, we have to start it. Are you guys ready? All right, on the count of three. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Let's see who we got. Oh boy, looks like number eight is in the lead, coming in. Oh boy, seven is creeping up. Number five, winners! Woo! Alright, new group. Here we go. We gotta light everybody up. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada boom. Bada boom. And one more. <laughs> everybody ready? Yeah. On the count of three. One, two, three. Go! <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at this. Number 10 is in the lead. Oh, it's close! Oh, number eight! Number eight! Winner, winner! <laughs> it's a close one! Up! Oh. Number five! Winner, winner! Yeah! I am having so much fun doing this. It looks like a little rain has actually come upon us, though. So the crowds actually cleared out. But I can tell you what. I was here for a good hour and a half now, and there has been a steady, like, full seats the whole entire time. And it's 
basically three for ten or five dollars for a single person and everybody's been playing but like I said everyone gets prizes all the kids get prizes but of course the winner gets to choose but it's so nice just giving out stuff and it's it's, it's all for a good cause right. on the count of three one two three go ho -ho! let's see who's going uh-oh Number seven, it looks like it's in the lead. Four is catching up. Oh! Number six! Number six! Whoa! Looks like we're just about all finished here. Seems like the night is coming to an end. But wow, just being here now with nobody actually around, it's actually really magical. I can hear the minions talking. They're actually singing. How awesome is that? And you can just see all the lights. It's so pretty. Every time I've been here so far, it's been a little bit of rain and it hasn't ruined anything. Honestly, I feel like I would definitely come back and do the midway again because that was super fun. Giving out, you know, gifts and prizes to people and just kind of like coaching them up. That was so fun. But also, I wouldn't mind like working the food like Boston Market, like I wanted to do that. Or the tram tour, that would be a lot of fun to do. There's plenty of open places. And like I said, if you sign up to volunteer, you can pick what you want to do. For me, I kind of always wanted to do a carnival game. And it was as fun as I thought it was going to be. Like, I really did. And the fact that I got to do it, and it was supporting a great cause, even better. A cool thing for all the volunteers at the end of the night, if you're hungry, uh, you get to have uh, some free food. They got pot pies for Boston Market, chicken sandwiches, all the works. And with that, I think we are done for the night. What a fun, amazing experience. Honestly, if you ever want to volunteer for Give Kids the World, I will put the link in the description. It is so worth it. It's so fun. Like I said, it's a great cause, and some people want to contribute back, and if they can't, you know, make donations, they always need people to actually volunteer at the village. It takes so many people to run these events, and just to make the magic, honestly. Like, you're signing up to create magic, and I just love it. So, I hope Hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye and we don't want to forget about Gracie girl she got a treat from charger the dog charger the dog you want a treat a little little pup cake for you huh you want a pup cake who's the pretty princess are you the pretty princess yes you are oh yes here it is oh yes oh You're so funny.